For this video, I want to talk about continuous functions. More specifically, how we can tell where a function is continuous and where it is not continuous. In order to do this, we have to be really clear what I mean by a continuous function. So let's look at a nice intuitive definition about what this means. A function is said to be continuous if you can basically draw its graph and never have to lift your pencil. With this intuitive definition, you can see that a function is continuous if it doesn't have any breaks or gaps in it whatsoever. Sometimes it's really easy to recognize where you know, a function is not continuous or discontinuous by looking for these breaks or gaps. Let's go ahead and look at two examples to see what I'm talking about. Here I have a nice, smooth, continuous graph. You can see that if I was to draw this, maybe starting over here at the left end, that I could draw the entire thing and I'd never have to lift my pen once. Now go ahead and co contrast this to the other graph. This one has lots of breaks, gaps, holes, and we can identify uh, each of these things and say why it is not continuous. So the first problem of being continuous is with this hole right here. If I was to try and draw this graph, I would have a problem because I'd have to like lift my pencil and then put it back down to go over that hole. On this section, we have a giant gap. So again, I'd have to lift my pen, put it back down, no good. Here is an interesting feature. This is actually a vertical asymptote in the graph. No matter what you call it, it still forces me to lift my pen if I'm going to draw the rest of the graph. So features like this, like holes, gaps, and vertical asymptotes, uh, create a function that is not continuous. Now, even though you might have a function that is not continuous, uh, there might be short intervals where it is continuous. And you can identify these by marking out the x values or packaging up some intervals where it is continuous. Let me show you what I mean. So here I have a graph of a function that is definitely not continuous. It has holes and it's got this giant gap right here. But you know what, if I don't want to look at the entire graph, maybe just portions of it, then it might be continuous on small intervals. Let's take the interval from negative infinity all the way up to negative 5. If I'm looking at just this interval right here, then it doesn't have any breaks or gaps in that particular section, so it is continuous on this interval. The next interval where it doesn't have any breaks or gaps is between negative 5 and 2. You can see I, I don't want to go beyond 2 because there's a giant gap right there. And the last place that I can say that this thing is continuous is from 2 all the way to infinity. So if I want to use any of these short intervals, then the function is continuous on that interval. As long as I don't include these problem areas, we are good. And that's how you can identify where a function is continuous or not. 